Let's go back to Melbourne. When you, when you stepped in that octagon, um, almost nobody gave you a chance to win that fight. I, mean, I remember doing interviews before the fight, mm-hmm. and, and it, 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 it was almost, it, people were almost laughing because Ronda Rousey had, had beaten everybody. What gave you the confidence that, that, I, that I'm going to win this fight? Because everybody else that writes on paper what the odds are aren't the ones getting in there. Mm-hmm. I am, and that's all there is to it. And she is just another woman, and everybody can be beat, and why can't it be me? I think a lot of people don't give themselves enough credit. Uh, why can't I be the one that's going to do this? Why can't I be the one that's going to work hard and make this happen? Why do I, why, why do I have to think that it's going to be somebody else? And going in there, I thought, you know what? I've had a great training camp. I've worked hard for this, and why not me? After her loss on the Ellen DeGeneres show, Rousey said that uh, she contemplated suicide, and you said that you hurt for her, but, but you, didn't, you didn't feel sorry for her because, because you won. Now, can you elaborate on that just a little bit? If it was up to her, she would have the victory in her hands, right. not me. And uh, I don't take lightly uh, the subject mm-hmm. of suicide, and I think that the best thing to do is surround yourself with people you trust because um, that's definitely not anything that I, I wish on anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that she definite, the last person she probably wants sympathy from is me. Uh, she's a very competitive person, and I, I, I really, truly believe that she'll be back stronger than ever. Dana White says that if, if you two meet again, it'll be the biggest fight ever in, in UFC, uh, if you meet Ronda Rousey again. But, but you have Misha Tate in front of you. How do you discipline yourself to, to not look ahead to, to what that could possibly be and, and focus on this fight? A lot of people are still talking about the knockout. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, that's, it was one of the greatest moments that I've had. However, I can't define my whole career on one fight, and that's not going to carry me forever. I need to keep getting better and keep pushing forward, and I don't want to be so stuck in that moment that I'm not progressing. So I do have a fight in front of me, and it's Misha Tate, and that's who I've been focused on, and that's the bottom line. If I don't get through her, who promises a next fight anyway, whether it be Rhonda or anybody else.